What is up, everybody? I'm just gonna quickly run you through how to set up Leadloft for fundraising. Let's dive into it. So when you first hop into Leadloft, this is what you're going to see. And as always, you wanna start by hopping into your settings on the bottom left here to design your CRM. We'll go to pipeline and segments on the bottom here. So we'll start with segments. In general, this is just to segment different investors. So you can keep it really simple or you can make it really complex. For the most part, I just recommend VCs seed or main VCs. Main VCs are those VCs that are specifically focused on your sector or your industry. It's almost always the case there's investors who specifically specialize in your industry. There's other investors who are more generalist. And since those more specialized investors are higher value, it's just good to segment them out. So now let's hop into deal stages. We'll scroll down here to deal stages. And this is what we recommend you use for your fund rates. So you can make it more complicated, but in general, it's better to start with a really nice and simple pipeline. So starting from the top, you see new, there's a warm intro, there's responded, interested, investor, keep updated, next raise, no response, not interested, as well as bad fit. Those last three are just the standard loss stages. But in here, what's really important is warm intro, as well as next raise. Warm intro is where when you import investors or add investors, these are the investors that you have warm intros to. And it's really good to segment these out from the other investors you might be running cold outreach to because those warm intros are gonna be the highest chance you have of closing a deal. Other than that, there's next raise. It's gonna be the case where you talk to a lot of investors and they aren't necessarily the right investor for that raise. It could be that you're pre-seed and they're a seed stage investor or you're in a seed stage and they're a series A investor. In this case, add them to next raise, in which case you can follow up with them again in the future when it comes to that next raise. The last aspect of all of this is the keep updated deal stage here. Lots of investors refuse to say no because they wanna keep you as an option if you do happen to scale quickly or if you happen to get a lead investor and maybe that investor doesn't specifically like to lead rounds, in which case the keep updated is really valuable. You can reach out to them with updates regarding traction, uh, regarding your raise, among other things. So make sure you have a keep updated deal stage here. And in general, if I click edit here, you wanna make sure that days until Mark's follow up is 30. And if you don't understand how that operates, I'll explain a little bit in a moment. Next, you wanna hop over to connected accounts here. Make sure you connect your email, your LinkedIn profile, add the calendar link here. It's just gonna save you time down the road, but also add a sender name and an email signature as well. Next, let's go to outreach settings. I generally just recommend keeping these standard settings, Monday through Friday, sending time frame from nine to five, time zone, select your time zone, and then just stick to our recommended outreach settings for 80, 15, and 30. If you have lots of experience with running outreach, of course, you can customize this the way you want. But in general, this is gonna be great for 99% of companies. Now that we've covered all the setup, let's run through the actual workflow here. So if you go over to your pipeline again, and you look below your pipeline, you'll see that there's quick views. And each one of these quick views has a series of predefined filters or commonly used filters associated with them. And if I click new here, they'll show me all of the deals where the status is new, meaning there's just no communication history with them. So I basically just need to engage all of these investors. The next one is if I click request intro, it shows me all of the warm intro investors that I need to request an intro from, right? So open them up, reach out to that person you have in common and request that intro and start following up with them. The last aspect here is one of my favorites. It's the follow-up quick view. If you click this, it's gonna show you all the leads where the status is follow-up or task due. In which case, if you click it, it's always gonna show you all of the investors that you need to follow up with. It means uh, there hasn't been a series of communication for a period of time, so you need to follow up with them or execute that task that you set. And of course, there's keep updated, which is gonna show you all of those investors that you need to keep updated. Remember, it's investors who didn't necessarily say yes, but didn't necessarily say no. So you're just updating them on your raise and your company's traction, just in case they wanna pull the trigger after hearing about it. Then after that, there's today's conversations. This is really useful if you have lots of volume. If your raise has a little bit of lower volume, you don't have, you only have a couple meetings a day. In this case, it might not be as useful as the other uh, quick views here, but if you did bunch a lot of meetings into a short period of time, this would be really valuable for checking on all of those conversations you had in a single day, if you wanna make notes or et cetera at the end of the day. So just to recap how to use it for fundraising, you'll essentially hop in here, you'll go to your quick views and you'll go to new or request intro and engage these new leads or request an intro from those warm intro leads. And then on top of that, you want to go to follow up almost every single day and make sure you're following up with all those investors who are marked follow up. So really straightforward and really simple workflow. And the last aspect of all of this is going to be playbooks. If I open up playbooks here. There's really only going to be two playbooks I recommend. 
One is going to be an outbound playbook to book meetings. And the other one is going to be a follow-up playbook after your first meeting with them that automatically reaches out to them and follows up with some more information. I'm not gonna cover those in this video because it is a lot, but I will share more information in the video academy. So feel free to check it out below. So that's how to use Leadloft for fundraising. If you do have any questions, remember to reach out using the bubble in the bottom right. I'll see you guys in the next video.